What's going on guys, Cameron Fitness here and if you're new to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button and leave this video with a like. I want to see if we can get 10 likes on this video because this is by far the hardest training method I've ever used in trying to stimulate muscle growth. So this is called occlusion training, also known as katsu training and essentially you tie a resistance band or a strap around the working muscle to limit the oxygen supply going into it. This then induces something called hypoxia which is an anabolic response which then causes a lot of other physiological effects. So since there's a lack of oxygen to the working muscle, it can't get rid of all the metabolic byproducts. So they accumulate and that increases metabolic stress, which is one of the three key components in muscle hypertrophy. It's also been shown to increase your growth hormones whilst training, testosterone being a massive one which increases during this training method, which is massively important when trying to grow your muscles. And because it's an anabolic response, it specifically targets your type two muscle fibers, which are responsible for your more powerful and faster movements. So there was a study produced in 2000 2012 on division one football players using occlusion training and it actually showed increases in strength and muscle hypertrophy after only three weeks of training. There was also a study produced in 2009 which showed similar results in muscle hypertrophy increases and also in strength increases after only three weeks of training. And because the training method is actually so difficult, you only need to be working at sort of 20% of your one rep max. So I'm gonna be going to the gym and showing you a couple of exercises. We're gonna be isolating the bicep and the tricep through the occlusion training method. And I'm gonna be linking up with my boy Jack Davis. And we can both say this is by far the hardest training method we've ever done. Let's go! So the thing you need to remember with occlusion training is that the workload will be different and the amount of exercises will be a lot less than the usual routine just because of the intensity. Uh, for better results, you need to make the exercises unilateral so you're really focusing on that mind-to-muscle connection. How's it feeling? It doesn't feel good. <laughs> and you're making each contraction as big as possible. So you need to keep the resistance band around your arm, even during the rest periods, which does get a lot harder as the exercise progresses. Um, some of the exercises that we included, we started with the standing preacher curl, then we went to the reverse tricep pull downs, then the seated machine preacher curls, and then we finished on tricep kickbacks. And in terms of rep ranges, um, we were going for four sets, starting at 15 reps, then down to 12, then down to 10, then down to eight. And in terms of percentage of your one rep max, because the intensity is so hard, um, you can find it beneficial working anywhere around 20% of your one rep max. So what we found during the training is that we struggled completing all four sets just because the burn was absolutely ridiculous. Uh, the first set were fine, but then um, as the oxygen started to decrease from the working muscle, um, the second set was a lot harder in terms of intensity and then it just massively increased by the third set. In terms of physiology, obviously it's because the oxygen is decreasing from the working muscle uh, and a lot of the metabolic subproducts are building up, which just makes the burn that much more intense. And then we found that around the third set on some of the exercises, the burn was too much, so we actually had to take the resistance band off. I think it was only one exercise maybe that we completed all four sets, but we did find a little technique to take a little bit of the burn off. Um, during your rest period, actually raising your arm above your head, it does help a little bit of oxygen get to the muscle. But like I say, the intensity was just absolutely ridiculous through all of this training. By far, the hardest training method I've ever done. I made a bad choice to tell them bad boys sick in the morning and I Yes, Lord <laughs> yeah. Tell me that you're not opposed to this I'm honing in the zone and now I can't fuck with it On another level I'm thinking I might be I ain't caught up in the madness, nah I'm passing to all the back and forth We ain't here for, therefore you been for one My heart's on, feel like it's been taking the parts I can't move on, waiting for the moment to strike It's been too long, second guessing now I'm thinking I'm prepared for it I ain't worried about it, been about to care for this bear With this bounce to the craft, niggas is giving food for the soul Food for the thought, use it as a tool to provoke Evoke my emotions, feeling left behind Lost and too stressed, it might be no hope But we ain't hopeless, keep going till we got no hope left Look, the past I'ma leave it there for we been here before But your obstacles and not the color illusion It can't stop us Due to the fact that we're we'll for this We'll live forever through the influence And that's Get definite higher than a motherfucker Yes, love Feel like life is me
So guys, that is the end of the vlog. If you enjoyed it, make sure you leave this video with a like. And if you're also new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button to stay updated with any future training videos. And I'll see you next time. Peace!